Hi, this is Ralph, and in this, in this video, I want to go over more structural elements, in this case, lists. So let me just type this up here. There we go. So I have a new web page set up, and it's using my basic HTML5 template. I've got my doc type definition up at the top, HTML tags. In the head section, I have a title element. I have the character encoding meta, and I also have an author meta. I do have a set of style tags, but I don't have any CSS style sheets in there at the moment. In the head section of my page, oh, I'm sorry, that concludes the head section of my page, and in the body of my page, the only thing I have is a headline one page structure list. I'm a big fan of lists. Um, they can do very simple things and they can do complicated things. You can make some fantastic navigation menus out of lists, and we'll do that at a later time. But let me just run down a few different kinds of lists. Okay, so I'm going to use a heading two here to mark up my sections. Let me just give them a little more room to work here. So we have, uh, there we go, unordered lists, which are really bulleted lists. We also have ordered lists, which are really numbered lists. And then we have definition lists, which are now with HTML5 can also be referred to as a dialog lists. Okay. So those are our three basic kinds. I'm going to give you a quick rundown on each one just so you know how to make them. Um, I have to tell you that I rarely use the definition list, the DLs, or the dialog lists as they can now be used. But that could there could be a situation where that is the perfect solution. Um, ordered lists are my uh, next most popular, I suppose. Um, an ordered list or a numbered list. Obviously, there's a number of situations where you might need to do that. No pun intended. Um, I'm a huge fan of the unordered list, though. Unordered lists are used all over the web. Many of the navigation menus that you see on big-time websites are really unordered lists disguised to look like navigation menus. In fact, go and check out Apple's website sometime, view their source code, and you'll see that their navigation menu at the top of their site is really a bulleted list disguised to look like a cool navigation menu. All right. Lists are really easy. So here's my first one, an unordered list. I'm going to do a set of UL tags unordered lists and within that I'm going to have a series of list items. Um, item 1, item 2, and very creatively item 3. Excellent. So there is my unordered list and if I go to my browser and refresh we can see what I've got. Ah, look at this. I must have made a typo in here. So if something like this happens to you, obviously double check your markup to see where you can find the typo, but I'm going to see if I can't predict what my problem is. I'm willing to bet that I screwed up one of my closing list item tags and I didn't put a slash in there. So my browser thinks instead of closing one list item, I was starting another one. So I bet I have an opening list item tag where I shouldn't have one. So let's go back over to my editor. And sure enough, there it is, right after item one, I need to put a slash to make that closing list item tag. My list items are completely self-contained and closed. Save that, go to my browser, refresh, and now I'm fixed up there. So that's my basic unordered list. As you notice, by default, I'm getting little round bullets. You can change that. And let me go up to my style real quick, and I'm going to go ahead and put in uh, UL as my selector. And I'll put in list style type and I'll change this over to square so now my unordered list will have a square bullet and if I go here and refresh there we go little square bullets um, you could also make this circle refresh that there we go now I have little circle bullets and you can also do images too with list style image and you can insert an image to be your bullet. So that's pretty slick. I'm going to keep that there for now. And let me show you one more thing with the unordered list. And um, I want to do a quick nested list. So right after item three, but before the closing list item tag, I'm going to press my enter key a couple times. And I'm going to put another unordered list within that unordered within that list item. There we go. And then I'll go ahead and put in item 31 item 32. 
just so we can see how this looks. I'm going to go ahead and save that browser refresh and now we can see I have a nested list a list within a list and this is where it comes in handy to change my bullets around so I could go up to my styles and I can say okay well my unordered list has circles but unordered lists that are within unordered list um, I'll change this over to squares there we go by the way this is called a descendant selector a selector within a selector so I'm going to save that and refresh and now I have squares for the nested list and there we go we could keep on going but that's the basic idea for an unordered list let's try a bulleted list and here's what I'm gonna do for my bulleted list I'm gonna copy my unordered list and I think I said bulleted I meant numbered and let's see I'm gonna go down and change the ULs to OLs that's the only difference between an unordered list and an ordered list but of course an ordered list implies a sequence to the items so I've got that saved go to my browser and refresh let me make sure you can see this okay there we go so my ordered list one two three uh, notice that I have a little bullets in there I need to change a couple more of these I still have ULs for my nested list let me change this over to OLs refresh there we go numbers one two three and then I also have one two by the way we do have some control over these also with our styles let's see I can go ahead and create for my ordered list I'll do list style type um, upper alpha let's say that'll give me capital A B C D so on and then for ordered lists within ordered lists a descendant selector there oops I'm gonna do list style type how about if we do lower Roman just so you can see what that looks like I'll go ahead and save that back over to my browser refresh there we go so that is an ordered list and the last one I just want to point out is the um, definition list oops let's I'm on the wrong page here there we go so I'm gonna go into my definition lists, and I'm gonna do this kinda of quickly because I don't use them too often but definition lists do look quite a bit different than the ordered list and the unordered list so a definite definition list is basically a set of DL tags okay that creates the definition list and within a definition list there's gonna be a DT which is the term and in fact I'll just say term right there and after the DT there is going to be a DD which is the definition and this would be uh, definition of the term there we go so that's the series that we have and let me go ahead and do a copy and then I'll just paste this a couple times so we can see that I have several now so my definition list is made up of several terms and each of those terms has a definition I'm gonna save this go back to my browser and refresh and there we go you'll notice that there's some default formatting terms and definitions notice my definitions are slightly indented let me scroll this up so you can see it just a little bit better there we go terms and definitions and just so we can really emphasize this I can go to my styles and let's see how about if I do definition terms are going to be bold and blue and they're going to have a little bit of margin of about eight pixels on the top that is there we go okay so that's the basic definition list now I want to point out too that by the way the DL the DT the DD tags have been around for a while the new HTML5 variation is to call this a dialogue and I've never had occasion to use this and I can't think of a good reason why I might but let's say in your web page you literally wanted to have a dialogue let's say you were posting an interview between obviously the interviewer and the interviewee you might use a dialogue list and a dialogue list is pretty much the same thing as a definition list but instead of a, instead of a set of DL tags you put in dialogue tags so there's an opening and closing set of dialogue tags the DTs are exactly the same so we might say okay this is Ralph for that one um, 
what business did you start? And then we can have Sarah. Um, who knows? Paper Central. And then we go back to Ralph. Actually, I probably won't use the little colon up there. Groovy. Exclamation mark. There we go. So there's a little bit of dialogue using the basic definition list tag. And of course, if I save this, head back over to my browser. There we are. And refresh. It's really the same basic thing. You might think, well, gee, that's kind of weird. And I thought it was kind of weird, too, when I first read that they were doing that also. But that's what we have now. So there's a few basic lists. You've got your unordered list for making bulleted lists. That's when the list items don't have a logical sequence to them. They're all equally important. Of course, you have your ordered list when there is a logical sequence to the items. Then you have definition lists or dialogue lists when you want to do a glossary kind of thing or if you actually want to have a dialogue exchange on your web page.